Hello, it's Jimmy here. He's got here a Renault Master that's just turned up. It has some emissions related faults on the dash. Okay, if we come inside, check anti pollution system, error comes up. I'm sure, there's a few other messages as well. Let's just try and click through them. Okay, you've got the spanner on uh, the emissions sort of smoke symbol down there and the engine management light as well. Okay, so run a scan. These are the fault codes that we have high pressure exhaust, recirculation, negative loop difference, uh, 0400F5. So that relates to the high pressure EGR. So these are going to have two EGRs one is high pressure, one is low pressure. So we're going to have to get that out and have a look at what's going on. Right, I've taken out the bolts here for the EGR return pipe. We're just going to try and wiggle that out. There we go. I don't know if you can see that, but obviously these there's supposed to be a hole there where the EGR fl flows through, as well as that side. There is a little bit of a hole opening there, but not much. If we have a look down there. There's a lot of visible soot. The EGR you can see there, it was replaced by Renault um, less than a year ago. Okay, so we're going to get the the complete EGR out. So we're just going to disconnect that. From the electrical plug there. Sorry. There we go. We we'll get that off. We're gonna get these bolts out. I think it's got a couple of ten millimeters there, from what I can see. Okay, so we're gonna need to clear out these airways on this and clear out the actual EGR valve itself there as well. Just got some DPF cleaner in a pressurized bottle here. We just spray that on. You can see that it melts away the soot. And we'll just get some on here as well. that soak for a minute. Now it is quite hard so we're just gonna have to give it a little bit of a poke with a screwdriver. Okay we've cleaned that up. That's some of the stuff that came off of there. Now we're just gonna finish up on the actual EGR itself. Okay so we'll get these fitted back onto the onto the vehicle now. Okay so that's the EGR fitted back to the van here now. We are gonna clear the fault for that. So just to mention the other code that's there, the fault, uh, fault with the accelerator pedal. Um, what can happen with these? It doesn't mean it's it's necessarily that. Um, it can be a fault with the accelerator pedal, but what can happen is if you rest your foot on the brake, like you can see there where the, where this person's been pressing it here at the edge. So if you press your foot on the brake at the edge and you touch the accelerator at the same time, I've seen it on these Renaults that it can cause a an error come up for brake pedal or accelerator pedal position. So with this being a run the next thing we're going to check is the upstream pressure sensor. There was some faults, I've been told by the customer, there were some other faults regarding DPF pressure. Um, they've been cleared so we can sort of get the drive down here. So we're going to look at, see what else is going on through the live data. Just because there's no fault codes there, they have, someone has been clearing the fault codes basically. Okay, we'll combine those over. Check if they are sort of reading correctly. Yeah, they look fine. So we're looking for these charts to sort of look very similar. If the blue chart goes up and down and then the orange chart sort of comes down gradually across here, then you know there's a blockage in that. So we'll just clean the DPF down now. So I'm just cleaning the DPF. We had had about 16 grams of soot. We're just on our way to clean it down. I'm gonna get that below six grams. revs idle down that's where we've reached so far okay so we start the vehicle back up now we've got it just a check brake pads error there and then we're going to come back away from the live data 
Let's go back in and read fall codes. Still clear. Okay, so the DPF on this was at sort of 16 grams. Not not particularly very blocked, but clean it while we're here. Um, we've unblocked the EGR valve. Uh, one thing I would say is you can quite clearly see when I opened the bonnet, I said, "Hang on a minute, what's going on here?" It looks like a literally a brand new DPF. Uh, sorry, EGR. Um, so I asked the customer about it. It was replaced around about a, maybe a year ago from Renault. Um, but they don't want to cover it under warranty because it's his driving style apparently. But uh, what mileage are we on? So this is a 2020 vehicle, I think. And the mileage is 54,000 miles. There we have it. It's almost at 55. Yeah, I mean, to um, to need a replacement EGR on a yearly basis is it's not looking good really, is it? Uh, but it's not a circuit fault with EGR, just a flow issue, so we got away with just cleaning it out and hopefully that should that should resolve the issue. I mean, that pipe that comes into the in inlet manifold was completely blocked up. Okay, so that's it. We are finished on the, the Renault Master now and I'll see you on our next video.